bum, bum, bum. Okay, okay, okay. Nearly there. You can probably hear me already, but um, I'm just waiting till I'm absolutely sure that the stream has started. Um, but if, if anyone, if, Sam, can you hear me? <laughs> if you can hear me, uh, Sam, just uh, say, yeah, no worries. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Santa Test Room. Today, we're taking a look at Rambo and the absolute basic way to make a track, a song with multiple scenes and different tracks and things. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So if you're new to Drambo, um, you probably find this interesting. So thanks, Sam. Uh, you'll probably find this interesting, hopefully. Um, so we shall crack on. I just want to say hi to Sam. Uh, Linda Manu's here. Hi, Sam. Hi, Ed. Hi, Stephen. Uh, good morning to you. It's morning in the UK. Uh, you still didn't buy Jambo. As do any people didn't. Anyway, Jambo is a fully, fully functional groove box. It's a much quick, it calls itself a modular groove box. Okay. So it means we can have multiple tracks, uh, you know, multiple instruments. We're going to start with this. First thing you want to do, there's a couple of options here. When you go new, you can have a tracks MIDI to CV, a tracks a track rack instrument, an instrument MIDI sequencer, multi out processor. We're going to stick with eight tracks MIDI to CV, the top one, which is this. And you'll see that there are eight slots for tracks. And then there's an A and a B and a master and a main. We don't need to worry about any of this. The main is your mixer and stuff. Okay. To get going, all we need to do is we'll put some instruments into these. Uh, slots here now uh, for the purposes of this demo I won't use any AUV 3s I won't build any instruments I will use what comes with Drambo now I, this is the beta version and, and Sam did say so there are some things here that uh, aren't on the actual but everything I show you now you can do in Drambo straight away okay so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little plus button we don't need to worry about anything else anymore. just hit this little plus button and you'll see you can choose an audio unit instrument and you can hit the little toaster and choose any of your audio unit instruments that are on your iPad. You can go to instrument rack, which will let you use the instruments that are uh, sort of built with Drambo stuff or audio units and you've saved as an instrument. Again, you don't really need to worry about any of that at the moment. And this A N kick, all that is, is a kick drum. So what we will do is we will add the A N kick to the very first track, and there it is. Okay, so and you can play it via your MIDI keyboard. Hi Jade. Okay, so there it is, your basic, basic, basic kick. It's a bit quiet, so we could dr drive up the master. Or we could add an effect to make it um, louder. Uh, we don't need to really worry about doing that. So I'm just going to stick with this. I want to keep this as simple as possible. So there it is. There is our track, our instruments on track one. We can add to this if we want to, but we're going to keep this real simple. Okay, so there it is. Nothing else on the other tracks yet. So apart from our A and kick. Now there are there are a couple of ways that you can add uh, notes in. Okay, you can just put them into the sequence here like this and press play, and it will just loop around. And you can see here where it's looping round zero one. It's looping round for one bar, then just repeating. If we stop it, if we long hold this, this is where we can increase the length of our pattern. Okay. So at the moment, you'll see it says four, basically it's one bar. And then you have a little minus two and a little plus two there. If we hit, we can go in like this and do it like this, or we can hit times two and it will make it two bars. So basically eight beats. And what will happen, unless we press play now, it's duplicated our first four into a, into a second pattern. And you can go between the first and second um, patterns here, like this. So you can go to the second bar, and we can hear this if we put another kick in there, and maybe one there. And we go back to one, you'll see it's disappeared. But if we press play now, we can turn that little turn up. Okay. 
So there's, that's ways that you can actually um, put in your patterns, right? We'll take them out and I'll show you the other way. But before I show you the other way, we'll add another another instrument in. Okay, so we'll just, we can leave this exactly the same, this zero, one pattern, it doesn't matter. We'll do this. And this time we'll add a um, snare drum, okay? We'll go to instrument rack here this time and we'll go to factory and these are the instruments that come with your uh with drambo anyway so you'll get all this stuff so we've got drums we could go with snares and then we could add a snare and we could we could preview it okay or if we don't want that snare we can grab hold of it and oops sorry just drag it down out of the way. Bear with me one sec. <clears throat> we can add, uh, we'll go to instrument rack again, and we can have a look at factory, and then we can go to instruments here, and you can choose an instrument. So if you didn't want it to be a snare, you want it to be something else, you could do that. But let's add the plus again, and this time, we keep on generator and instead of going to the instrument rack we're going to scroll down until we see sampler now we have a flexi sampler a shot sampler and a sampler uh, sam said basically the the, the 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 shot sampler is a good way to load in um we could do this a good way to load in very easy to use sample so So say we wanted that snare, and there's lots of snares in the sampler, so let's load that in. And that's been loaded into this one. So now we have instrument one and a snare. And like I said, if let's put a little bit of reverb on that snare, because it's nice to have reverb on snares. So we add a plus button here. And now we go to processor, which is the effects. Okay, and if we go back to the top, you can see a processor rack or audio unit processor. So these will be presets you've saved. Or we could just scroll down, scroll down until we find effect and then all the way down to the bottom there, you see there's phases, noise gates, reverb plate, we'll, we'll use that. And Drambo automatically connects this stuff for you. You can disconnect anything you like, but it's it makes it easy to bring up something like this so and now we have some reverb okay now what's cool now is we can record in normally <clears throat> but just like a drum machine like we could just go which is what we're going to do it's going to stay on R2 here, what we, what we set here. That's not going to change, so that's fine. It's going to go over two bars, okay? And now all we need to do is set up our metronome, etc. right? So to record in Drambo, it's easy. You obviously just hit play and record. However, if you hit this little, uh, these three little dots here, you'll get some... Um, information pertaining to your uh, metronome and your counting and stuff like that so we have a pre-roll of four beats so one bar it's going one two three four and then it's going to start to record we're going to have quantization switched on and we're going to allow for overdubbing as well okay so that means if it goes round and then we come back round we can then over uh, we can do something we can just carry on adding to the instrument so when we add a hi-hat we can do this sort of perfect because you know, I mentioned people when Drambo came out can be a simple or this is we're keeping this very simple i need to keep this simple i need to keep it simple for me simple brain right okay tap them again this is your metronome and when you tap on the metronome you can choose various options for how it works so you can have the metronome off you can have it always on which means it'll it'll play while whenever you press play tap it again and it's on recording this time we it's 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 it'll only be you'll only have the metronome yes you yes Drambo can use AUV3 plugins as well Ed uh, this time um 
it will only the metronome will only sound when it's recording which is very handy for doing this kind of recording in so when we arm record at the top it's gonna as soon as i hit play it's gonna give me a four bar counting and i can start to record my little my little drum beat in if you like so we'll do that so stop record and that's now saved so we can go back to instrument one and you'll hear it because it triggers so but we can mute so here's our we're back to our kick now so now let's add one more here for a hi-hat because we have to have a hi-hat and we'll use the same principle again we'll just go like plus generator because we're generating sound and this time we will use the flexi sampler okay so we'll tap on the little toaster and it'll take you to the same things again but this time it'll load it into the flexi sampler so kicks net percussion maybe oh hi hats cool There's lots of them. We'll use that one. So now, and for, because Ed's here, I will actually, I will actually add an AUV3 to boost the volume. I'll actually add one to this as well. But I'm gonna just to show you that you can use your AUs. You go to processor audio unit processor and then you look for the AUV3 you would like to use in, in this case I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, this this compressor okay so from Blue Mango we can close it like that so now we've got our And all, I can jump in any time I want now and add my hi-hat. So we're just going to do this. And actually, we'll start to construct our song first. So now we've got our kick and our snare. And you can make any adjustments to any of the instruments you've got there just by hitting on the pads here. And there's our hi-hat, which is very nice. Okay. What we're going to do now is, again, we'll we'll long hold on this because we're going to make another scene now. So these are your scenes. We're going to long hold on that, and it says copy. And we're going to hit copy, and then we're going to tap there with it the little plus to create another scene. We're going to long hold on that scene and just go paste. And now you'll see it says zero one. So I'm just going to put. I'm going to rename this to zero two otherwise we're going to get confused so so now we've got zero one and zero two but zero two at the moment is an exact copy of zero one so let's press the record button and we can add our So now we've got our hi-hat. So we've got kick, snare, and hi-hat, which is fine for drums for the, the purposes of the tutorial. You can, of course, go on and on and on as you wish. However, we don't want to do that because otherwise it's going to get too um, it's going to get too too complex. All right. So now we have three instruments. We've added a reverb to this. We've added an AU to that compressor just to bring up the volume a little bit. We could add one to this, but I think it's okay. Hi, Andrew. Uh, hi, Stephen. Hi, anyone else who's here as well? Anyway, so. Instrument number four. But first of all, let's do the same here. Let's hold, long hold this. Let's copy this. Let's tap on number three. Let's hold it and paste it. And it's going to make it number two. I'm going to say. Paste. 
Oops, hang on a minute. Just right. Long hold. Copy and paste. That's fine. Long hold again, and I'm going to call this zero three. You can call it whatever you like. You know, intro. Blah blah. So now zero three is a copy of zero two with our hi hat kick and snare. We're going to go to instrument four now. We're going to add some bass. So tap on this again. Tap on generator. Go to instrument rack here. Very cool. Go to factory and go to instruments. And now you can. Let's see. We can. I've got my little key step. So we can look for a bass if something actually says bass. This is a good one. instrument four we have our bass we can start to add some bass in and again we're going to leave it on two two bars because we don't want to get too overly complicated but we can now make adjustments to our now anytime you want access the mixer you can just press this up here you can scroll along there and do it from there but if you want to access the actual mixer you can do it just by pressing the mixer tab. Go back there. So, so if we played, if we play this now, Just record that, which is kind of a right. Hi, Ross. So we'll just again, we'll just wait, and we can. If you're not sure where you are in your sequence, you can you can see it counting round at the top there. Well, you probably can. But anyway. <clears throat> so now we've got a little track going. Now, this is a project. We've started a project. So we're gonna go into our little toaster menu here and go save as, and we're gonna rename this project as uh, a sequencer. Oops, I spelt it wrong. Sequencer, I've spelt it completely. Sequencer, sequencer tutorial save and that's done so anytime we come back to that now it'll be there um, there you go I've got permission to show everything Sam so you know there's no need to keep saying so right so So that's cool now again what we're going to carry on building our track so we're going to add another instrument but first of all we're going to long hold on here copy and paste so this is now number four so we're going to long hold on this and change it to number four because 
Otherwise, I'll just have a load of number threes. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay. So, instrument four. We probably want some kind of pad sound or keyboard sound or something. So, we're going to, again, plus uh, instrument rack. We're going to go to factory. We're going to go to instruments. <laughs> going to check something I want this to be polyphonic if your experience sing monophonic it's down to this MIDI to CV thing here where it says voices one we can have up to eight voices I don't quite need eight voices for this so we'll just uh, run four and now I've got now I've got polyphony up to four voices okay so okay but we don't want that sound. Or also, as well, I should point out that there is another way. You don't have to keep going into the menu. You can just use the little left and right arrows to scroll through. To scroll through patches or tap on this and then you can go to presets and then you can find them again. However, this one seems to be quite nice. So we'll stick with that. So it's done. So this is kick, snare, Flexi sampler, which is the hi hat, our bass line, and now our pad sound. Uh, right, so we know that we've got we can go in at any time and see what's going in 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 the sequencer. Okay, so you know we've got now we've got our one, two, three, four, and we're about to add our fifth track. So you can go in and look at it as a as a linear thing if you want to, but you know. So let's have a play along. We've got this bass line, we've got our hi-hats, we're, bu we're building it up as we go sort of thing. Go minor. That sequence is four bars long. So for number four, we want a long hold and we'll hit little times two and that will increase it to 16, uh, 16 steps, which is four bars. And then we can just play it and make sure that our previous two patterns have automatically copied over to our second two bars. Counting around here. So that's very cool. I'll just have a quick practice. Actually, quite like that version better. So that's 16 bars. So we'll long hold this again. And we'll duplicate this to 32. So now I've got eight bars <coughs> to play with. But all these are still going to be two. But there's cool stuff we can do. It's it, it's absolutely fine. So, so for my first sequence is going to be... And it'll be... So again, what we'll do this time is the count in version. So we'll just hit record and... have a listen to it from the beginning now here's a thing that can trip you up okay so if I hit 
play now. I'd expect it to change to my next pattern. However, it won't because we have the little loop engaged. So you disable loop and your song will play like a normal song. So I'll jump to the next one. Jump to the next one. Jump to the next one. And this is eight bars. go back let's say for instance that you uh, want to have the first set of sequences play for longer if you long hold you can choose how many times a sequence repeats okay so let's say we'll have this first one which is just the kick and the snare repeat twice we'll go to the second one here the long hold list We'll have this one repeat twice as well. And let's go to our third one, which is when the bass line comes in. And we'll have that repeat four times. Now you see we're building up a song. So it's it's very, very simple. Okay. And we can leave this, this one on our four. But what I'm going to do is long hold, copy it. And then I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to re rename this to number five. Because otherwise, you know. Right, so. On this one, I'm going to put some kind of melodic, melodic content, if you like. But now if we go back to the beginning and we make sure our thing is off, you'll notice that our changes that we've made to the repeat cycle, so how many times each scene will play, is now taken effect. So I'll play it again, and now it'll jump over. Four times for this one. we've gone on to scene five we, we we can add something into track number six now which is cool we'll add some sort of melodic content okay so we'll add uh, an instrument rack again like this we'll go down to factory we'll go to instruments and maybe what's this one actually Right, I'm going to use this mono glider because I can have, I can now add some effects to this as well. So I'm going to take some of that glide off though. Now you'll see that this is a, like I did a, a thing about making a super instrument the other day. Um, you can open up any of the ones that are all closed up like this and see what's actually gone on inside that thing to make the instruments the way it is. I mean, that's, again, I did that the other day and you can check that out if you like. But we want, what we want, I want some, definitely want some delay. So I'm going to go to Pro, so you always hit the little plus to add. Processor, going to go down to where it says effect. I'm going to add some um, delay rack. We can move along here and we can then we can kind of. So that's, that's cool. Some hi Ivan. <laughs> I'm nearly finished now, mate. 
if we have a listen now we can kind of jam around with our track now here's the thing if you're practicing with something and you're 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 in a particular thing always remember to hit the actual loop again otherwise it's going to play to the end of its song sort of thing and go back to the beginning but you know there you go <laughs> That's doing that. Oh, I know. Right. <laughs> Drambo records everything. So I've obviously messed with the volume. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record and I'm going to hold this back. Okay, so it's the easiest way to do it. I don't know why that is 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 staying at the volume level it is. I've no idea. So I'm going to have to go to the the instrument itself I think and try and um lower the amp volume. There's probably a good reason for it though. Right, that's fine. Don't know why it keeps changing volume like that. It's weird. Anyway, so. Might just record that bit again. We'll see. anybody know what's going on here <laughs> all right uh, you, you you usually you can double tap and up and remove automation parameter locks I don't know why it's I, I don't I didn't um, remove parameter locks right so and also I will go back to this one and remove parameter locks and see what happens Anyway, I think the best thing to do then would be to, um, on tracks four, we'll just get rid of that, and this, and five, so let's, where am I going now, let me just check my thingy, um, chords, and play. So, let's go back to there. And also, I 
if I long hold this, I can remove it. And this one, I can remove it. Right, so, cool. We're back to where we was, but I don't want to go any further now. So I would then, I would then, because I have no idea why I got, I got like, because I, I wasn't doing any automation. But that's me bass. What I'd do now is go to the instrument again. Let's see what happens, right? So I'm going to set my volume a bit. One or two. Yeah. So let's copy this again. So copy and paste and rename that to number four okay so and then oh yeah i'm gonna uh that's eight i'm gonna duplicate that to times two sixteen and i'm just gonna watch what happens before i start recording so to the master channel for this this That seems to be absolutely fine. So we'll quickly record those chords again. Won't take long. So. So it because I had record on and I made the adjustment, that's maybe why it's kind of remembering where it was. That makes sense. Okay, so let's uh duplicate and paste and call this number five. Cool. Okay. And we can add a new instrument here. <clears throat> Generator. Go to our like instruments. Factory instruments. I'll use this comb lead this time. Um, just to keep it different. And I will add in a processor. I will right, we'll go to delay again, so we'll go to the... Yes, you can add effects on the master bus as well. You, you can really add whatever you like. <laughs> So on the master bus, you can add whatever effects you like. You may want limiters or compressors, etc. Anyway, where are we? So. Take this, so we'll remove that. Long hold this, copy it, 
paste it change the name to number five so I don't lose track okay and now right so we'll do a long hold and increase this one to 32 which is what I should have done to that one if I was paying attention but I forgot and hit record so hit record Success. So we've managed to recover from that. I actually will save this as well. So that saved that session that we started earlier. So now we can we can listen to our track. Remember to take off our looping and see how far we got. of success <coughs> and bearing in mind i'm like i'm also like this i'm learning drambo as well you know a couple of weeks ago i was like oh, i hadn't even opened drambo i was like you know i was i didn't think it was something i i would be able to do I, I didn't think i'd find it easy and you know what the more i mess with it the more i think because god this is brilliant <laughs> i mean it really is really great anyway guys listen oh, thank you very much for joining me this morning well, this morning in the uk well it's early after, mid after, early afternoon now um if you enjoyed the video please strike the like before you go that would be very kind uh subscribe to the channel etc um thanks ivan um i quite enjoyed that actually and i was just using the drambo stuff just a couple of au's because they're nice to, to boost the volume and stuff they work really well um but yeah it's very uh it's very intuitive i'm going to save my session and it's nice to see it when you have a um something that goes not quite to plan how you can then just backtrack and kind of just start to work it out again so yeah like i said i'm not like super expert with drambo i haven't you know i'm just learning as i go but if i can do it anyone can honestly anyone can do it you know it's it's that it's it's a way to just get entertained you know and you don't forget you just select your instrument so we used six instruments in total we use the kick drum the snare hi-hat with a bit of compressor from blue man goo uh one of the bass pat patch 
and it made me focus obviously pure keyboard anyway guys top job cool beans um I'll, I'll play the thing again while you say ta -da to each other. Uh, thank you very much. I shall be back around 2, 2.30 with something else. And I know what I'm doing. I've just completely forgotten what it is. Tonight's live stream is... Um, I is we're doing. It's going to be called Synthmaster 2, The Sequencer. Um, um, and it's going to be called Reimagining the Past. So I'm going to take a load of absolute classic world-famous sequences and we're going to mess them up a bit so that you can use them in your own tracks and stuff like that, which gives you an idea of just how ridiculously powerful the sequencer is in Synthmaster 2. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm sure you'll probably enjoy that one. Um, this afternoon, again, I can't remember. Is Russ still here, by the way? Um, or is he, is, he, is he gone off to do something else? Anyway, guys... Top job, cool beans. On Friday at eight o'clock, we will be doing quiz night, all the questions designed by Russ. And uh, yeah, that's as far as I can think. Right, okie dokie, see you guys later. Chara, thanks very much. <laughs>